Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we're going to talk about Secure Internal Communication or in short, SIC. Checkpoint products and platforms are using SIC to authenticate to each other. SIC is based on SSL certificates. When you first install your management server, this includes the CA or the Certificate Authority. It's also mentioned as ICA, Internal Certificate Authority. This is what creates the certificate used for SIC. For R71 gateways and above, then we use AES128. For gateways below R71, then it's triple DES. But you guys should be running R80 anyway, so AES128. When we did install the gateways, we did put in a one-time password to connect to the gateway and management. And after this one-time password is used, the rest of the communication is using certificates. In this video, we are going to reset the SIC on one of the gateways, so we are able to check the different status of SIC. So if we go into network objects and gateways and servers, and if we click on the cluster, then under cluster members, we can see we have both gateways here. So if we take this one, for example, we do edit, and here you see the secure internal communication and you have the CN. But uh, if you press here, communication, you see trust established. So SIC has a few different uh, statuses. And if you want to like test this, you can just press test SIC status. And you want to see communicating. So here you see communicating. And trust established and communicating, that means everything is hunky-dory, everything is working just fine. So if we would log into this gateway now and just reset the SIC, then we can see a different status. So let's log in to the gateway. And for that we use C secure CRT. So we log into the gateway with the admin account. And we need to go into expert. And here we can run cp-config. And cp-config, it allows you to uh, reset the SIC. So here you have secure internal communication. And what we want to do here is to press five. So when we are in here, we can actually see the current state and the trust state is trust established. So this is actually good, but uh, let's say that our certificate has been compromised or something like that, then we need to reset it. So let's press yes. And you see here, note, the, se the secure internal communication will be reset now. And all checkpoint services will be stopped using CP stop. No communication will be possible until you have reset and re-initialized the communication properly. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And let's put in a new activation key. So I will just put in checkpoint one, two, three. And press enter. Checkpoint one, two, three. And what we need to do here now is that you see here, um, hardening OS initial policy will be applied until the first policy has been installed. And what we want to do now is to press 11 to exit. And you see here, now all the processes are stopped and um, well, maybe we even get kicked out because the we will have the initial policy and the initial policy is more or less uh, deny any. All the processes are now stopped and you see that it's even installed the initial policy. So you see here, installing security policy, initial policy on all all CP gateway two, and that's our gateway. And um, we can try to log into this one again. And I believe this will actually work. Yeah, we can still log in, so that's good. Type exit here. But let's go back to the, um, to the management station and just see what we have for status now. So do close here and test sick. 
so we see here not communicating so we have an we have an error and um, peer does not have the certificate try to re-establish the trust so more or less it's broken now we don't have the sick communication not communicating and if we don't have the certificate let's try to install the policy this should fail because you see here it's even red so if we hold, hover over this red we see that secure internal communication is not operating on CP gateway 2 verify that sick is initialized or what's not reset and the reason why this will fail is because we have this one install on each selected gateway independently but for clusters if installation on cluster members fail do not install on that cluster but let's just verify that this is a lab so we have the possibility to do all the testing that we can normally not do in production and just to verify that we actually have traffic we can uh, we can do ping and it's working and the reason why it's working well this part he is not part of the cluster anymore so if we log into uh, the gateway number one and we go to expert and we go to cph probe stat we see that we are active and lost the gateway number two is no longer part of this cluster. You see here, if we go to gateway number two and did run the same command, HA module is not started. So this one has like zero. If we go back to Clish and we just check the configuration, it will still have all the configuration for the interfaces. We can still log into it. We have the SNMP traps and so on. So you see here, we still have all the interfaces. So more or less, this is a, well, freshly installed box, so to say. It cannot do anything. And uh, how to fix this? Well, just go back into the firewall cluster and cluster members, gateway number two, double click on it, communication, and then reset. And um, reset was done. Please reinstall the firewall policy in order to update the CRL. You must install firewall policy on all security gateways. Okay. So here you have one more trust. Uninitialized. So let's uh, put in the password. Checkpoint. One, two, three. Checkpoint. One, two, three and press initialize and now we have trust established closed okay okay and we need to publish it and let's try to install the policy again and this is still um, uh, still complaining but i think that if we installed um, if we start to install an access policy this will work or hopefully it will work so installation was succeeded and uh, after that we can actually install the, the threat prevention policy and you see here YouTube application requires blah, blah, blah. okay well we can fix that later just install the policy again so we have the threat prevention and I was going to show you the other way around instead. If we stop the SICK from the management station, and let's see what type of statuses we have on the gateway. Because they will mismatch. And one important factor when it comes to SICK is to make sure that you have the correct time on all the gateways and management stations. All right, so let's go back into expert mode here and just verify that it's still working and we have the trust established so cp config and then press number five 
and we see here that the trust is established so just take no here and 11 so let's reset it from the management station instead so you do like this cluster members gateway number two communication reset yes and uh, let's put in a one-time password here from start so we do checkpoint one two three four checkpoint one two three four and we do initialize so it says fail to connect to the security gateway so here you have a different status initialize but trust has not been established so if you for example already prep everything in the in the management station but you haven't fixed on the gateway you will have this status so how do we fix this one well we put in the same password on the gateway so let's try that so cp config and five and uh, trust established. I wasn't expecting that one actually. Let's do like this. 11. Let's try to push the policy. I was hoping it would show something else. Because now I have an incorrect sick. Can we push the policy? Let's try. And hopefully this will fail. Ah, failed. And the reason why it's failing is because peer sick certificate has been revoked. Try to reset sick on the peer or reestablish the trust. And here it fails on gateway number one because security gateway policy installed canceled for me for module CP gateway one and it should say like let's say well it's failing due to the cluster is not the same that's that's the the point of it but here you see the this this error as well let's see if we can make this bigger no it doesn't matter So installation failed, reason peer sick certificate has been revoked. Try to reset the sick on the peer to and reestablish the trust. Well, let's try it again. See if it has changed. I don't know. I thought it would change, but um, would you like to reinstall a uh, re initialize the communication? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Activation key. Checkpoint one two three four. Checkpoint one two three four. Eleven. So it will uh, stop everything, and hopefully it will uh, fix itself. Let's see. Because now it actually has the correct uh, key on the management station. So let's see if it will uh, pick up the correct policy from start. I'm not sure. Let's see. All right. So it has uh, started and stopped all process and started again. And you see here, it actually still have the initial policy. So if we do... Uh, Firewall stat. Oh, sorry. CP stat firewall. And we see here its initial policy. Well, let's go back to the management station. And firewall cluster. Cluster members. Number two. Communication. Let's see it. Initialized, but trust not established. Let's test the SIC not communicating all right initialize now trust established test sick communicating 
So they initialize it's more or less send their request again. So that's perfect. So now everything is hunky dory. So let do close and we do cancel here. Okay. Let's do okay. Okay. Publish. Let's see if we can fetch the security policy. That would be cool. Because we still have the initial policy here. So let's see if we can fetch it. First of all, let's see if we have HA. Like CPH probe state. So the module is not started. So let's install the policy because, well, we don't have the HA module and, um, well, we can start it manually and so on, but it's just easier to push out the policy and uh, the gateway will get all the, the details it needs to. And the reason why I unselected threat prevention policy is because that one goes faster to install. And, um, well, the access policy and so on need to be installed before the threat prevention policy. So it would be like a dual uh, policy installation when you do like this. So we have successfully installed the policy. Let's do it on the threat prevention as well. And if we do the CPH probe stat, we see that the uh, member and so on is up. Let's, I will clear it here. So we see that everything is up and running again. The failover hasn't changed, but this member, the member two, has already seen that there is a, already an active member, so it's putting itself in standby. This list is just awesome. It first appeared in like R8020. Um, I think it's the 3.10 kernel, but um, if you're running the newest and latest and greatest and so on, you will have this, uh, this awesome list. It's so much easier to see this, uh, this cluster state thing. This is not existing in R77 or in R8010. So you need to have higher to really see this one. You can of course see it in different ones. So like for example, uh, the last video I did do with the messages file, we can just see there, tail minus 10, sorry, var log slash messages. So we can see that the uh, policy installation and so on here. And uh, let's see if we can see the cluster. Let's do 20. Um, no, we cannot see it here. Ah, that's annoying. There is a different file where you can check this, but um, well, this video is regarding sick. And um, well, I think I have shown you everything regarding sick or everything that you need to know in basic at least. Um, if you want to read more about it, there is a uh, nice documentation for secure internal communication. And here you have all the information that it's certificate based, that it's AES128. I even think this is a certificate question. So uh, remember that one. And uh, here you see that it's a one-time password. And after that, it's certificate based. So that's good. Here you see the one that I mentioned about the time. It's really important to have the clock synchronized between your gateways and management station. The recommendation is to use NTP. And here you see how to initialize the trust. You see different uh, six statuses. The, these are the three statuses that you can have communicating and uh, unknown. There is no connection between the security gateway and management station. And not communicating, the security management server can contact the security gateway, but cannot establish SIC. So th these three are good to know as well. Communicating is the one that you want to have. Then everything is hunky-dory, everything is working. And here you see the trust state, uh, how to reset it, that we did just show. You can reset it either from the gateway or from the management station. Um, you need to put in the password on, on both places. A bit on how to troubleshooting the SIC. Um, there is a few like um, uh, ports that needs to be open. And this is part of the default uh, generic like... Um, um, policy. 
So if you're not going through different firewalls, you will not have this problem because it's default open within the checkpoint. And if you run into major issues, you can do a firewall unload local. Firewall unload local will remove all the rules. So you need to be careful with that one. This is like your last result. But firewall unload local you can use if you really need to access something that you have well, totally screwed up. And here it says some information regarding the ICA or the certificate authority. Uh, that is not only used for SIC, it's actually used for the VPN certificates and for the users if you want to have that one as well. And this one I didn't know from start. And this one I just find out like recently because, well, normally I update the management station more often than that, but uh, Apparently it's five years validity on it. So, um, well, if you keep your stuff for more than five years, you can encounter this and then you need to just, uh, then you need to extend the certificate. They come up like a pop-up window, so you will understand it. But, uh, well, keep that in mind. If you want to know a lot more about uh, SICK, well, I recommend the forum. And um, for example, I found a great post from Heiko regarding like how and what ports are actually used for SICK and when is the SICK certificate actually used. So uh, check out the community and here you can see all the ports used for SICK. Um, I guess this is the most common um, because that pulls the certificate, meaning the gateway needs to reach the management station on this port. And um, as Heiko said here as well, there is no keep alive. So that's it for this video. Please like, share, comment below what you want to see next. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.